Hi, hello, it's Abigail here, and I also have popcorn. My parent, our parent, oh. and my boyfriend, Hi, Richard. Boyfriend. Oh, no. He's not actually going to be in this video. I just wanted everybody to know that he exists and he's here. So step off, gamers. This one's mine. Okay. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so in today's video, I have a Depop haul that also has a couple of items that I didn't get on Depop. If you're new here, which you probably are because I only have one other video, uh, I have a parrot that you met in the beginning, Popcorn, and Popcorn's a baby and a bird, therefore Popcorn will make baby bird noises. If you don't like that, don't watch my video. Okay, the first item is this Harley Davidson cropped tank top. Uh, I, this is my first Harley Davidson shirt. Harley Davidson shirts have become sort of a trend and I kind of wanted to hop on that trend. So this is my first Harley Davidson shirt. It is really cute. Um, I will be putting up a try on on the other half of this, but it has these little like rhinestone details. And this one isn't from a specific location. A lot of Harley shirts will say like Harley Davidson of whatever city that they're from. This one doesn't have that, which I kind of like. The next item that I have is these international baggies pants. This is the only article of clothing that I'm not gonna have a try on for because they're a little bit too snug. I can get them on, but they're like too tight to be comfortable. I am trying to lose a little bit of weight though. So hopefully soon they will fit me. Uh, they're basically like MC Hammer pants. They should fit loose, but I have thick thighs, so they're a little bit snug on me right now. But they are this really cool pattern that has purple and green in them, and I really like this. Uh, oh, also, I should mention where I got these items from. So this one I got from this shop. It's my friend Morgan's shop. Make sure that I've left like the name of where I got these. The name of the shop will be somewhere on the screen. And I'll also list it down in the description below. The next item that I have is also from my friend Morgan's shop and it's this really cool uh, t-shirt. I love this. It is a Corvette Stingray shirt. I really like the design on it. It has a Stingray right here and then it has the Stingray car right here. And I got the pants to go along with it. It looks more blue in this light, but it's actually like blue into purple. Um, so I thought it would look really cool with the pants. Another article of clothing that I got is this Winnie the Pooh Henley style t-shirt. And I love the button. <laughs> I love the buttons. And it also has this really pretty, really nice embroidery work on it that has Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore. And they're blowing dandelions. And I just think it's really cute. This one's vintage from, I think it's like the late 90s. Um, I like this one. A lot there's actually another one that I'm planning on getting from a different seller that is the same style of shirt but it has uh, <laughs> Dalmatian puppies on it um, from 101 Dalmatians so you guys will probably see that one hopefully if it doesn't get bought before Monday um, in another Depop haul. The last clothing article that I have is this vintage <laughs> pink Minnie Mouse Walt Disney World sweatshirt. So this one actually has fading from the sun all over it, but it's kind of in a way that almost makes it look like it was like bleach dyed, like tie dyed, but with bleach. And I really like that. It's so pretty. Whenever I got it, it had a lot of pilling on it, but I actually, I have this thing that's my favorite thing that I own besides my label maker, and it is a fabric shaver. So I just went around every part of this with the fabric shaver and now it is like really in good condition. Okay, so the next two items I didn't actually get and I think that they're from Etsy shops but I don't know what shop that they're from or what shops that they are from. I actually did a painting for one of my friends. So Kester, if you're watching this, hi, hello. Um, and he, instead of giving me money for the painting, he bought me a couple of things. So these are two of the things that he got me in return and they're really cool. The first one, <laughs> is giant. It is this Kermit Collection 3D chess uh, set. For those of you that don't know, I actually do enjoy playing chess. I was in a chess club whenever I was younger. 
so I'm a nerd essentially but the pieces in here are so cool I'm gonna take a couple of them out so that I can show you guys first I want to show you guys the board uh, so I did some research into this and there are actually two versions of the Kermit Collection chess set. This is the deluxe version. The other version has, I believe it's just a black and white board and it doesn't have this like gold design around it, but this one has the gold design around it. It actually says Kermit Collection on the bottom and it has Fozzie Bear uh, on the corners. So I think that that's cool, I don't know. So for the actual pieces, the difference between the teams is in the bases. So one side is this dark red color, the other side is this yellow. All of the pawns are little, <laughs> are little Rizzo the rats with pizza boxes, which makes me really happy uh, because there's this place in Hollywood Studios, this restaurant that's Pizza Rizzo. It just makes me happy because obviously this set came out way before Pizza Rizzo was ever in Hollywood Studios. These make me happy. We have Gonzo as one of the knights, and then we have Animal as one of the knights, but Animal is riding his horse backwards and that makes me happy. One of the other pieces is Fozzie Bear and then we also have the Swedish Chef with his little chicken. We also have Statler and Waldorf which I really love that they did not use the entire bodies. They just used the top halves because Statler and Waldorf are, well, Waldorf are always sitting in the opera box and they also have tomatoes to throw, which is great. And then for the king and the queen, we obviously have Kermit and Miss Piggy, and I love these. So all of the characters just are, they're exactly the same on the other team's pieces, just with yellow instead of this dark red. The other item that I wanted to show you guys from Kester is this vintage Disney Christmas ornament, and it's it's Mickey and the Beanstalk themed. This was actually from 1996, which is my birth year. So I thought it was really cute. And I want to have a Christmas tree that is themed to Disney ornaments and especially vintage Disney ornaments. Two other items that I got are these vintage Disney buttons. Uh, they're actually from character dining experiences in 94 and 95. This one is the one from 1994 at the Disneyland Hotel, and it has Rafiki and Timon on it. The other one is from 1995, and it has Pocahontas on it, and I love it so much. It's, it's so cute. My last two things are actually in envelopes, and they both contain stickers. One of them is mystery stickers and the other one are stickers that I specifically picked out and ordered but I'm not sure which is which and I just got these in the mail today so I figured I would open them on camera so we're gonna open the first one I think this one might not be the mystery one it's not okay this is this one I knew what I was getting oh cute okay this one I can tell you guys what shop it's from she sent me a cute little note with it that says thank you for shopping with us I uh, hope you love your new stickers come again and this one is from my small shop on Depop so I picked out all of these stickers she has really good prices I got six stickers for five dollars with free shipping on it so that is awesome. The first sticker is this Vincent Van Gogh throwing his vase of flowers. Uh, if you don't know who Banksy is, you'll probably be like, what is this? But this is a take on one of Banksy's pieces. If you don't know what this is, it is from Gilmore Girls, which is one of my favorite shows. And I really like that this has like classic books on it. It has, let's see, Of Mice and Men, Ulysses, Oliver Twist. I can't read what that one is. Oh, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, To Kill a Mockingbird, and Anna Karenina. I like this one a lot. This one, it has a cup of tea, a cactus, which you guys can't see because you're on my windowsill right now, but I have many a cactus around me right now. I love cactuses. Um, cacti and succulents. This one has a book that just says I like big books and I cannot lie. The next one is a bag, a shopping bag with a frowny face instead of a smiley face that says no thank you. Big mood there as the children say. This one is actually Post Malone lyrics to Better Now. I like th this one's like in one of my favorite shades of yellow. And then this one just says yeet or be yeeted 
and I had to get this one. So the next one um, is my mystery stickers. So I have no idea what they look like. Hopefully there's nothing bad in them. Uh, she taped this envelope with this really cute like washi tape. I just thought it was really, I, just, I don't know, I thought it was cute. Oh, I see one already that I'm very excited about. I don't know what shop this is from, but I'll find it and I'll put it on there. Oh, this is very early 2000s. <laughs> it says 99% angel on it. This one has a bad word on it. So I'm gonna cover up the bad word, but you should be able to tell what it says because it says it's Britney Biscuit. Okay, this one has Mila Kunis on that 70s show. And I really like this one. Jackie is a whole mood. Here's I'm really excited about because they're Sanrio stickers. The first one is Cinema Roll, which is a little bunny on a skateboard. And that was my favorite Sanrio character whenever I was younger. I used to live in South Florida and in one of the malls there, they had a Sanrio store. My sister and I always went in and I always wanted to get Cinema Roll stuff. And then we have a Hello Kitty with her little cat. No, it's not a cat. It's a dog that kind of looks like a bear. Why would a cat own a cat? Why would a cat own a dog? I'm upset about that. The next one is a is a Hello Kitty beanie baby. It even has the little tie tag on it. So I, I love that one. This one uh, has angel wings and a halo and it says online. I don't know if this is a reference that I just am too incompetent to understand but i don't know what it means all right this one is the smiley french fries that we all ate with the heinz purple ketchup whenever we were children um at least i liked the purple and the blue there was another color then we have lizzie mcguire which i started re-watching lizzie mcguire on disney plus and i missed that show so much the other show that i've been watching on disney plus highly recommend very underrated is teacher's pets i have been singing the theme song for like days straight it's a bop and then we have a furby sticker this furby's actually really cute i had a purple furby and i swear that something's wrong with it it would just be awake all the time i took the batteries out and it still worked i don't know i don't know Something was wrong there. Okay, this one is the one of those uh, portraits of angels and I actually always really like these because I have a giant picture, not of these two, but of the cherubs that are like ones like this. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I have a, a picture, a giant picture of two of those cherub painting baby. No, I have a, I have a picture of two cherubs that I'm pretty sure are from the same artist that used to be my dad's so I really like those. The last like vintage sticker is Teletubbies and it has Tinky Winky and Poe on it which are my two favorite Teletubbies so that makes me happy. Uh, yeah this one's really cute. And all of these stickers I am going to be putting at least like all of the the vintage style stickers. I'm actually gonna put them on one of my guitars. I'm gonna put them on one of my guitars uh, that doesn't have any stickers on it. It's like this light blue color, and I thought that they would go really well on that. So I will be doing that. And then she put in a couple. I'm assuming these are bonus stickers because they're not like vintage stickers that I know of. And it's a little robot that says "Hello, friend," and then a blast off sticker. And I'm gonna give these to my nephew because he's obsessed with robots. Okay, I am going to include a little clip of my guitar with all the stickers on it. So I will do that here. And then, <laughs> wow, look at how good it looks. I don't know because I haven't done it yet. It might look like garbage, but I hope it looks cute. So here is that. Take a look at it. Wow. That's nice. That nice. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already because we're in quarantine and I'm trying to get that, that YouTube career started because I don't have income. And if you're an epic gamer, go to twitch.tv <laughs> slash godandgaming123, very epic style. Yeah, that's Richard's uh, Twitch channel, and sometimes I pop in on there as well. We did a stream the other day of me doing his makeup. So if you enjoy things like 
me torturing my boyfriend. I think you would like that. Go give it a look. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy your quarantine. And I just got these. Ugh, nice burp. <laughs>